Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team and Real Estate Growth Systems with another real estate agent Q&A video for you. This week we're going to tackle a question that gets asked a lot of ways and it's kind of a confusing question, but ultimately it, what it means is this, how do I actually become an expert? You know, we emphasize in all of our coaching and consulting and training and as I lead my team and brokerage here, that you've got to be the expert. We actually named our brokerage Market Experts Realty to make sure we clearly communicated that, but a lot of agents aren't entirely sure what that means. Do I just go sell a bunch of houses and kind of learn on the fly? Do I study the MLS and preview property all day? And I would say those things are fine. I would not preview property all day. But one of the things you can do is become really versed in the statistics of your market. Now, we're not gonna get into a bunch of minutia today, but just to give you an example of our market, Dallas-Fort Worth, we've got this map up in our office to create the visual of where we operate and what we do. We as a company want our team members and our agents to always know a couple of key facts, a couple of key statistics about the areas that they specialize in. So for example, if one of our agents was, and some of them do, gonna specialize in Benbrook, which is a technically a suburb of Fort Worth, Texas, I would want them to know at almost all time, at, take out almost, at all times, what the absorption rate or the rate of purchase is, or the inventory, all those things are the same number, right? Right now, it's between two and three, which means two and three months of housing inventory, um, or an absorption rate of 2.7 or whatever it is right now. That's a really great statistic for you to know that gives you kind of a ticker tape observation of the whole market. What I mean by ticker tape is, if you wanna take a quick glance at the stock market and someone says, hey, the Dow's up 100 today, You've got a pretty good idea of the economic activity of the United States of America at a glance. Now it's obviously oversimplified, but it's a pretty good indication. The absorption rate or the current inventory number is a quick glance, a ticker tape indication of the health of that market, the pace of that market. That's something I want our agents to know. I don't want them to use common terminology around it because I want them to not only have that expertise, but to display that expertise and to give evidence of that expertise when they're talking to a client, when they're working on converting a prospect or something like that. So again, let's say we were over here on the Richardson market or the Dallas side of things. I would want one of our agents to say to a prospect, hey, great news. Right now in Richardson, Texas, we've got about 1.6 months of inventory. Basically what that means is at the pace that buyers are buying right now, we would be out of houses in about eh, six or seven weeks because buyers are buying so quickly. Now, we're not gonna run out of houses, but what that lets you know, Mr. Buyer, is that things are moving really, really quickly and it's a great time to be a seller and a really competitive time to be a buyer. On and on and on and on. But knowing that one statistic, that's a key stat that I believe really builds our expertise and shows our expertise to the client. So if you're asking the question, how do I actually become that expert? Look for a quick set of data that helps you really understand the market as a whole at a quick glance and then be able to communicate that well. Now, obviously I recommend that you get to know the market in other layers, right? School districts, momentum, pricing momentum, availability, pros, cons, positives, negatives, unique neighborhoods, county lines, all those things are important. Lot size, valuations, historical problems, all those things. But one quick stat that can really help you look like and truly be an expert without quite as much research in, this, in the short term, in the immediate moment, is the inventory number or the absorption rate, same number. I'm a big fan of that. I want my key agents on our team to know the absorption rate or inventory number in each of the areas they specialize in at all times. We pay an economist to produce that information for us every single month so that our clients, so our agents can have it and so they can tell our clients that we pay an economist to do that every month. A couple of quick tips. Hopefully this is valuable for you. Click like if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Share this with anybody that you think would be valuable for. And then by all means, subscribe to our channel so that you can uh, get future videos. If you like this information and if you're curious about how to learn how to get a listing a week in your business, head over to Todd7Secrets.com, Todd7Secrets.com, and we'll give you some more free information on how to get a listing a week. Thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.